Perfect. All right, my wife, thank you. Okay, so in no particular order here with, um, all right, great, thank you. In no particular order here, I'm just gonna just rock and roll through these. So first one um, that I'm taking here is, and I'll do my best to show it to the camera, is designs for health, hypo, emulsies. This is liquid vitamin D. It is suspended in a fat, um, kind of a fat solution, which so medium chain triglycerides. It also has vitamin E with it, but um, basically because fat, uh, vitamin D is fat soluble, it is very important that you take it with fat. So if, if you're taking a vitamin D that doesn't have fat in it, then make sure you're taking it with fat. Uh, it won't be absorbed very well at all. So each one of these drops here is um, 2,000 I use of vitamin D. So and there's 1,000 servings in here. So it's a mega bang for your buck. My kids, I'll do one drop um, pretty much every day. And then um, I'll do around three drops a day, unless I'm fighting off or, or again, I'm fighting off some type of virus or cold or whatever. So I'll, I'll do higher doses. Um, I do test my vitamin D at least every six months. So I know what my levels are. So I, that's how I know what my uh, amount that I should be taking is. So again, um, if you do not know what your vitamin D level is, that would be the first thing you should do after watching this video. And um, go ahead and, uh, you know, that way you can send it to me and we can tell you exactly how much you should be, take, should be taking to fix that as quickly as possible. So definite must have. Um, next one here, again, a must have is magnesium. This is a liquid. I keep it in my fridge. Um, again, pretty much everybody in our, ha in our family has this on a regular basis. Uh, it tastes awesome. It's mag magnesium citrate. I do... On the label, it says a teaspoon, but I, I, my measurement is more a swig. <laughs> so I just have gloop, that's how I measure it. And um, it's it's great stuff. So it's really good for, I mean, many things, but heart health, um, muscle cramps if you have it, electrolyte problems, um, relaxation, calming, sleep, um, your immune system, your cardiovascular system said that your um, and, and, and also your, you know, your bones too. So, and, and many others, but those are some of the big ones. So magnesium is something that anybody can really be taking every single day, um, without fail. And I know a lot of you swear by this stuff already. Um, so, but if you're not taking this, this is an easy add on and it's, it's really, I think it's cheap, uh, relatively cheap too. So magnesium. Um, vitamin C here. So we recently changed our vitamin C. Um, we're doing this is from Designs for Health. This is C plus Biophys. And um, in here, one teaspoon is the equivalent of about 2,500 milligrams of vitamin C. It also has um, carcin, hesperidin, and rutin in it, which are um, bioflavonoid from citrus fruit, fruit. So this is Compared to the one we previously did, this is um, much more of a whole food source than the other one. So really, I like that. There's also quercetin has a lot of antioxidant properties, and it's good for um, allergies. And there's a little bit of steep in here um, to help with taste. So uh, your kids will love it. Uh, my kids love it. They, they think it's Kool-Aid. Well, they don't know what Kool-Aid is, but they drink it like uh, they would, I would expect them to drink um, Kool-Aid. So super good stuff um here again i do a serving of this every day if i think i'm going to be coming down with something or any of my kids are coming down with something my wife will ramp it up the uh the frequency um to um, help it off and it, and it almost works without fail every single time so vitamin c is also critical so not just for your immune system but collagen so your skin your joints um your blood vessels are all made up of collagen um, and so without enough vitamin c um, you can't produce collagen very well. So we are the only um, mammal that does not produce vitamin C on our own. So all their mammals in the animal kingdom just produce vitamin C. So we're the only ones we have to get from outside sources. So that's why this is a, is a critical one. It's also a critical nutrient um, to take. So next one that I'm going to go over here is daily defense. And uh, I take this um, every day as well, this um, turmeric, all right, and, and, and a few other antioxidants. So everybody's heard about the benefits of turmeric, I'm assuming, if, if you watch this. 
And um, so this has 95% curcuminoid. So um, the big thing about turmeric is that supplement, if it's cheap, you just know you're not getting anything as you might as well to save your money and not even buy it. This it can be as low as 5% and still count as saying they have curcuminoids in there. So quality is king with turmeric. Um, this one also has Indian gooseberry, which is a huge antioxidant. This uh, and an extrema, extra mel, melon extract, another um, antioxidant, and then N-acetylcysteine, which helps your body produce glutathione, which we'll talk about that in a few minutes here. But it helps your body produce glutathione, which is the number one intracellular detoxification. So I take this every day. If I'm feeling a little sore uh, or at a hard workout or something like that, then I'll take a little bit more, but otherwise it's one a day. That. Um, E-complex, I got two different ones here, um, mainly just because this is the one that we used to have, and I was just, uh, I got like a three left here. So I grabbed one from the office just so you can see the one that we currently have, which is the Max Living um, B-complex with delayed Delayed release, and what delayed release means is that it's going to um, be absorbed slowly into your system. So sometimes, if you if you're you shoot, launch too many B vitamins in your system at the same time, you'll uh, just kind of urinate a, a bunch of it out and not absorb as much, or your body won't have as much of a chance to absorb it. So um, this one is delayed release, so it absorbs much slower into your into your system over time. And then also what I love about this one is that it has a thousand uh, micrograms, which is a pretty hefty dose um, of B12. And, uh, you know, B12 is great for energy. It's great for uh, nerve conduction, brain health, and it's the right form, form, uh, for, right um, format, excuse me, form of methyl coal element. And um, that also helps with methylation, which I'll talk about in a couple minutes here, how important that is. But it's the right form of other types of B12, like cyanocobalamin, um, or there's another one too. Those are all synthetic and, and, and pretty hard on the body, or they can't be hard on the body. Um, cyan, for example, is made out of cyanide. So that's like a toxic gas, I think, when it's, it can kill people. So I don't know why that would be in a supplement, but a lot of cheap forms are in that one. So. This is great, and I, I take it in the morning. It's really important to take B-complex in the morning through the B12. You don't want to be taking it at the end of the day. It could really, you know, spike up your energy more than you want it to, and you do want to take this with food for uh, maximal absorption. Uh, what next? Okay. Omega-3s, fish oil. Um, you know, the benefits of fish oil have been – highly publicized for i'd say going on 15 years now uh, maybe 20 but definitely 15 10 15 hardcore as far as how important is your cardiovascular system and it's a natural anti-inflammatory and so um the big thing with fish though is that most fish oils are harvested from farm raised fish again why they can sell for so cheap you know i know like i've seen it um you can go to like costco and you can see a uh I think a fish oil like this big and it's like 20 bucks or whatever. And it's like a 10 year supply. And it's like, well, you know, like this one's like 30 something for like a 10th of the size. So you got to think there's a quality. Um, and, and I, and I say, this is funny. Like, you know, um, like I, I sell a lot of supplements in my office, but I tell you what, I really wish I didn't have to because it is extremely unprofitable. Um, in fact, Full disclosure, um, the vitamin, my vitamin business, if you will, I just did my tax returns, you know, not too long ago. I, I profited only nine grand for the entire year. So less than a thousand bucks a month for my entire supplement line and all those things there because of cash flow and having to do it. So, I, and it's a lot of work. Sometimes I'm carrying huge balances on credit cards just to fill up stock and, you know, pray to God that I sell it in time to pay it off. So, um, why do I say that? I'm not saying that to brag or make you feel, feel sorry for me or anything, but the point is, is that we carry stuff for a reason um, of high quality. I mean, I could definitely sell out and sell um, high profit margin, lower quality stuff. I mean, honestly, I, I sell this for, as, this stuff for literally as low as I possibly can and, still like, and not lose money. Um, so on, on to my point, back to my point on fish oil. So if they don't come from small fish, um, the larger the fish they come from, the more toxic they are. So you think about taking fish oil and it's like, I don't know, I've never squeezed a fish, but if you squeeze one fish, probably not a lot of oil comes out. So you think it takes a lot of fish to make fish oil capsules. 
And um, if you're taking a lot of big fish and squeezing it down, you're going to be concentrating toxins, especially mercury. So it's super important that you're making sure that um, the fish that you're getting your fish oil from, that A, it's from wild caught fish, not farm raised, which I guarantee you it doesn't designate it is. So ours, for example, comes from anchovies and sardines, which are little teeny tiny fish. And little teeny tiny fish are um, not toxic. So I do about a gram of omega-3 a day. Um, if you have cardiovascular conditions or a lot of inflammation issues, uh, I would go up to three grams a day for um, EPA and DHA levels specifically. So you can see on here, EPA and DHA. So combined here, omega-3, yeah, sorry, it's hard to go backwards. It's 500 uh, milligrams. <laughs> there we go. 500 milligrams. So that's why I do two of these um, in order to hit my gram per day. And listen, I don't need fish. So it's much better to get it from fish, but I, I really just don't eat fish. I don't like fish and I only eat fish. You know, if under my head, I probably wouldn't eat fish. So um, that's why I do fish oil. Okay, next one, CoQ10, probably one of the most underrated um, daily supplements. Without CoQ10, your heart ceases to function. Uh, it is really one of the most important energy drivers of your cardiovascular system and just your cells in general. Um, but one of the main issues with statin medications is that it blocks the production of CoQ10 in your body, so it massively depletes it. And all muscles need CoQ10 to be to, to function properly. Well, the biggest and most important muscle in your body is your heart. So it's really a catch-22. It's like you say, well, I'm trying to lower my cholesterol to prevent heart disease. Well, you're, you're destroying your heart every single time you take it. Um, so if a person's ever been on statin medications, you've got to take a ton of this stuff to get caught up. Um, but I take it every single day because the number one – cause of disease, uh, death in the United States is heart disease. So if I'm going to live to 100, 120 years old, the heart would be the number one reason why I wouldn't get there statistically. So I'm like, well, I'm not, why would I get up the chance? Not to mention there's a bazillion studies that show how much, how important CoQ10 is for the body. So it's a, it's a no brainer. And it has low lipoic acid in there, which is helpful for brain health and other things too. So, um, just kind of a nice added feature. Now for me, this is in my essentials, carnitine, um, most people, this wouldn't be in your essentials. The reason why it's in my essentials, like I take it every single day, is because when I did some really specific nutrient testing, um, I found I was like critically low in carnitine. So it's an amino acid and it helps your body metabolize fatty acids for energy. And so I was critically low, um, which is why I take this now to basically live longer um, and not be healthier. So. Again, just to be clear, essential for me because of really important testing that I did, not necessarily essential for everybody, but carnitine is good for fat burning, um, muscle repair, repair, muscle recovery, um, and also joint health too. So a lot of bodybuilders take this to, like, you know, get shredded um, and burn fat. So there's benefits of people taking it even if they don't necessarily test that they need it. It's good anyways, but it's critical for me every day that I, I take this, again, based on testing. Um, all right, now let's talk about methylation. So um, methylation is one of the most important things that our, our body needs to essentially not break down, um, but it's also one of the most complicated thing to explain um, easily. So simply put, uh, methylation helps your DNA um, do what it's supposed to do. And when you have a methylation issue in your body, which there are a decent amount of people even watching this that I mean, based on statistics that have what's called an MTHFR genetic deficiency, which means that your body essentially builds up with homocysteine, which leads to heart disease, cancer, and other factors as you go along. It's just because the body can't break it down. Well, methylation or having proper methylation is one of the things that is critical for everybody, but especially for people with that genetic problem, like you got, you got to be on this stuff. So there's a couple ways that I, I do it. Um, one of the ways to do methylated uh, folate, so that's what this is for. Folate's also good for hormones, but I take this to protect my body's essentially DNA uh, replication um, and repair. I recently, um, and my kids, my kids take those drops um, several times a week too. 
I recently switched to um, the systemic formulas one here because it's got way more um, DNA factors in here. So I'm kind of testing this out on myself right now um, and plan on selling it in the office um, probably in the next month. But so far, I like the results from it and uh, it tastes good. It's easy to take. Um, and I like liquids when I can because it's just, you know, as you, some of you saw my photo from before, I swallow a lot of pills. So anything at time I can take a liquid instead of a pill, I'll, I'm all over that um, for that. So essentials, um, next essential for me, which is kind of a more recent one, is um, taking Cyto Detox. And so this is, in my opinion, the number one detoxifying product on the market most research the most science put into it it has multiple sized particles that penetrate both the brain cell gut and organs so it's just literally a one size fits all if you will and um, it goes along specifically with our true cellular detox program um, which is what I'm in the midst of right now. I'm almost, I'm in the last phase of it. So I'm doing the brain phase right now. And so it's a 90 to 120 day program designed to re remove metals, glyphosate, pesticides and herbicides, mercury, um, and, uh, biotoxins like mold, fungus, um, mildew. And if for people that have it live, it'll even help kill Lyme. So it's a very sy uh, systematic process I'm doing it right now, but even still, uh, even when I'm done with that, I'll take Seto Detox every day because of just protecting my body's ability to detoxify and getting exposed to stuff. We get exposed to literally thousands of chemicals a day. And so if you're not detoxifying, you're probably becoming toxic just over time. And so it's super important uh, for that. And by the way, as you're watching this, remember again, I do see questions. Uh, so if you have questions, you can ask them in real time and I will answer them. Or if you're watching this as a replay, I will go back and answer them because I'll get a notification. All right. What's next? Okay. So next for the essentials, next screens. I eat a lot of salad and a lot of vegetables, but I don't, it's impossible to eat like 12, 15 servings of greens a day. Well, it's not impossible, but it's, it's very difficult. And so um, I do this because in one scoop of snack screens, I get like six to eight to 10, not positive, but something around there of um, servings of organic vegetables in right in my smoothie or in a glass of water. So um, there's also, what's cool about this too is that it has, um, probiotics in there it has uh, a bunch of mushrooms as well and it has um, a bunch of grasses and uh, fiber so it's really good for the bacteria of your um, your gut so question about the cyto detox what's in the cyto detox what's in the cyto detox is a patented clinoptolite zeolite um, also phospha 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 Choline and then fulvites, and all those have um, really specific uh, properties um, that help detoxify certain things. And Jill, what you can do is if you actually go on YouTube and search Cyto Detox and spelt like that, and Dr. Pompa, P O M P A, who is the formulator of it, they got some amazing videos that uh, break it down and show the signs of how this stuff works. It'll, it'll blow your mind, okay? Um, so next screens and then next is pretty much on a daily basis here is either my bone broth protein or my whey protein. And I recently did a food sensitivity test and came back. Uh, I was sensitive to dairy, so I have not been doing whey protein um, at all the past like what, two or three months. So I've been doing bone broth protein all only. What I used to do before that is I would do like kind of a little bit of each into, into the smoothie at the same time just to kind of get the, the different benefits. And um, they all, they have different, you know, amino acid profiles and everything and different benefits for you. Grass fed, uh, the whey protein is kind of more for like protein plus detox plus weight loss where bone broth is more like protein plus joint health, joint and gut health. Those are at least the home, the, the, um, the, uh, the highlights of it, if you will. So those are uh, my essentials. I think I hit them all oh, kind of along, along with that, which is, yeah, I would put this in the essential category. 
every day for with my coffee. I make bulletproof coffee. Put XCT oil in there. Great for the brain. And then also collagen peptide. So this uh, this stuff is awesome. It's got just a mega amount of um, amino acids. So and most of them being essential, meaning you need to do it. So I just put that right in my it's a power drink, like a power vitamin drink, uh, and it's delicious. So essentials. All right. On to the um, experimental slash goal, um, goal supplements. So I've been kind of doing for a long time now, but some uh, mild um I'd say what I would call being in mild ketosis. And so for that, to help with that, I take this product from Zines for Health called 7 Keto, mm -hmm. which has um, some specific precursors to ketone bodies that help your body more efficiently produce that. So I do this. I've also been experimenting with Dr. Axe's um, ketone activator, Keto Fire. Um, so there's that. He also has a keto pH, which is basically when you're, when you're in ketosis, one of the reasons why people wouldn't feel well doing that is because they're not, they're, they're depleting their minerals because ketosis requires a lot of minerals to drive that process. And so this just helps to, um, replenish those, uh, those minerals. So anyways, take that. The, the only thing I don't like about, um, his program um, is that like, for example, just for this one right here, you have to take six capsules to get essentially the recommended amount. And same thing for this one too, six capsules. So you have just two of these right here and I, I'm totally fine. Clearly with taking supplements, but like two products, 12 capsules. It's like, it's just like, it's tedious. So, um, I don't know that I'll continue this as I, as I go along, as, a, as opposed to this one right here. It's one super teeny tiny. Super teeny tiny uh, one here versus his Dr. Axis, just to give you a comparison. So, this is Dr. Axis. See, it's bigger, and you have to take 12 of these to do it. So, it's just, you know, a little ridiculous. But just thought I'd show you. It does work. I mean, it's good. Um, people see results, they burn a lot of fat with it, lose a lot of weight, but there are definitely other. I'd say just as easy ways to do it that are not as crazy. So uh, lately I've been really focusing on working on my gut. Tested positive for candida, which I'd say everybody would that on this line that'd be watching this. So I'm taking this. This is from Dr. Axe as well. Uh, I'll probably be selling it in the office. It's actually been out of stock for a little while, so I haven't bought a bunch to put in the office. But this is a really, really, really good product. I did a lot of research on the ingredients that he has in there, and it's like it's like candy to death um, through that. Um, also, leaky gut. So I lived a really, really, really poor lifestyle for the first like 20 years of my life, um, which anything damaged my gut. So I'm really working on repairing that because that's really the, one of the top ways that people's health gets sabotaged all long term as their gut breaks down. And along with that too is L-glutamine, which is a major muscle gut tissue repair. So we put this, I just put this right in my smoothie and I've been giving it to my kids lately too because they eat the same thing as we do in our smoothies. So L-glutamine, fantastic. It's, it's really the top gut healing amino acid, really the top gut healing supplement, if you will, um, for that better than anything else on the market. And it's the only one really clinically proven to show that it, it changes that. So L-glutamine is good. Um, another one of Dr. Axe's products I've been experimenting with is just some bone broth muscle booster. I'm going to put on a little tiny bit of muscle. So there's bone broth protein in here. Um, and then there's ashwagandha and cordyceps, which is a mushroom in Greek. So just some kind of gen basic um, general muscle building things. So I, I probably won't rebuy that, but I just wanted to try it out because he's my friend and, you know, I like supporting support him. After I finish my detoxification program, I'm going to be doing a parasite cleanse because um, I've never done one. And I just have a sneaking suspicion that I might have a little bit just with my gut health history pass. So I have these here for that, plus this Chinese uh, healing oil, which totally is like 
it's got worm soil, which totally kills uh, parasites. So we'll see if any nasties come out in my uh, my bowel movements after starting that. I promise I won't post anything, but that can be very interesting. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm kind of doing that as an experiment on myself a little bit too before I start unleashing that on patients and having them do it too. Because I like to know what to expect with doing some heavy duty stuff and I you know, so know to kind of be able to tell you what to expect. So those are my goal items right now. Um, again, if that's the kind of thing where uh, if you're watching this, you don't know well, what should be. This is, this is my goal. I can do my best to help you find um, what would be the best product to take for that, whether it's mine or like we have it or somebody else um, has it. Okay, long-term health. Cardioflex. Um, again, like I said earlier, the um, heart disease is the number one cause of death in Americans. There's still about 700,000 Americans that die per year. About one out of two men die of that. So um, I would like to take 50, what's likely to kill me or a 50% chance to kill me and bring that as low as possible. So this is based off of Linus Pauling, Linus Pauling, who won a Nobel Prize for nutrition um, about 50, 60 years ago, um, his formula. So it's got vitamin C in there, B, E, folate, B12, magnesium, selenium, potassium, and then lysine, proline, glutamine, and theanine, and then CoQ10. So this is really a complete heart health supplement other than, I guess, fish oil. And uh, my father-in-law came up with this. It's, it, you know, it's, it's a really pretty amazing product. And, you know, we've had people... Um, that have reversed literally congestive heart failure and other really bad heart problems by taking this on high doses every single day. So um, I can't recommend this enough if you're a male especially or if you have you know high blood pressure or any really arrhythmia, any cardiovascular issue whatsoever. Um, who knows, it may reverse it, but at the very least it's going to support your heart and you know, hopefully you won't die from heart disease because that would suck. Next is N-acetylcysteine and glycine. Um, going back about 20 minutes ago, I was talking about N-acetylcysteine there. And what again, that is the precursor for your body to produce glutathione, which is the number one detox, uh, intracellular detoxifier. So meaning like it actually penetrates your cells and then detoxifies you. Um, and then so what it actually does, glutathione is pretty cool. It will find toxins and it actually liquefies it and turns it into water and then you just pee it out so it's unbelievable how much that stuff is so we live in a very toxic environment so most people are depleted in um glutathione so this one's good and i think like this is a uh, a four month supply and it's like 20 bucks or right around there so it's like a really 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 cheap um super cost cost effective supplement to get a lot of bang for your buck and so you can put this in a smoothie or in water it's pretty tasteless so i do that one uh, on a regular basis give it to my kids too um if i ran out so i just got this is mine i just got more all right next ones are again a couple other things from dr axe some mushrooms so i are reading a decent amount lately on um healing power especially with the immune system for with mushrooms and antioxidants so very healing and so he's got these fermented mushrooms which means that they're just very bioavailable and um apparently like in a lot of clinics in europe um overseas they're using high doses of certain mushroom extracts to heal and prevent cancer so i'm all for that because cancer is the number two cause of death in the united states um so try to lower one too and i don't eat sugar so diabetes won't get me either there you go. I guess I'm going to live forever. All right. Almost done here. So the next ones are as needed. Iron. So I take iron probably once a week. And um, if so, but if you're, if you're a female that has heavy menstruation, this is very good because when you bleed a lot, you lose iron. Um, if you have anemia, this is very good because it replenishes iron. So, and it's chelated, a lot of iron that's synthetic, which this is not synthetic, but a lot of iron that is not chelated, it really can make your stomach nauseous. And chelation means that it's gonna break down slower and it'll break down in your intestines versus in your stomach, 
which won't do much in there. Um, I use this stuff from Bulletproof, which uh, the guy actually is the one that made Bulletproof Coffee uh, popular, but he's all, all about biohacks. And um, this Forbo stuff is really designed for um, focus and energy. So if I have a busy day, like an extra busy day, these are something that I'll pop a couple of these um, for like, and it's just insane focus and the energy that I get from that. So again, if I have a seminar that I'm preparing for or really dig into some, a lot of work or a lot of, a lot of patients, I'll take this to really, um, you know, provide natural energy and, and, and mental focus, which, you know, we all need that time to time. Um, zinc, I take this a couple times a week, really important mineral nutrient for leaky gut and just your hormones. So I'm, zinc is a, you know, Remember that's the one where if you have little like white flecks on your nails, um, you're deficient in uh, zinc. So this is a good one to take for that. This is super cheap. Too. It's like 15 bucks for a three month supplies, so five bucks a month. Super cheap. Liver and gallbladder. Um, yeah, this, uh, I take this just as needed. If I ever feel like a little upset stomach, sometimes it can be the gallbladder a little backed up or struggling. And so I'll just take this and it helps to just break down the fat in there for the immune system. Garlic, I got this from Whole Foods, as you can see. It's just some fermented black garlic. And so this is really great if you feel like a little, if I feel a little like cold coming on or a little bit of uh, potential sickness, I'll just take a few of these. And um, they're really good antiviral, um, antibacterial. So. I definitely would do raw garlic, and, but this is just was really easy. I actually bought this when I was on a trip and traveling. I started to feel a little sick, and so I just kind of have this left over. So I'm just going to finish this up before I go back to raw garlic. And then um, lastly, this is uh, from Bulletproof as well, and it's coconut charcoal or also activated charcoal. And so um, this is really good for – you know, does say gas really fun. That's funny. I never even noticed that. Um, if you eat something like bad and like you're getting bloated, like a, this is a active charcoal basically works as a, as a, as an absorbent. And so it'll absorb and bind to basically junk in your stomach and help you eliminate it more efficiently. Mm -hmm. So I'll bring this when I'm traveling or bring a couple capsules and I know I'm going to eat maybe and not and having a little bit of a cheat night. This will kind of minimize the damage, if you will. Um, I mean, not that you can just eat like crap and then take this and think everything's going to be okay. It's really just designed for like crisis management um, for that, but it does, um, it does help. It does work too. So that, oh, and then last thing too. Again, I got this from Whole Foods. I'm just showing this. I don't want to say I'm recommending it, but it's just an herbal um, immune activator. So, and again, I'm feeling sick. I, I do spray this in water every now and then. It's got like echinacea, elderflower in there. Let's see what else. Um, some baptisia root. So, anyway, just thought I'd show that. Cool beans. All right. Well, um, if you believe it or not, it only took me. 38 minutes to go through all of my supplements. <laughs> so I did it. Um, I'll stay on here for a few more minutes if there's any questions or if you need help with um, what you should be taking. I think the main takeaway, hopefully, for this is that as you're watching this, that this is not, oh my God, I need to be on this many supplements. But maybe it's like mm, that, that one that he mentioned sounds like something would benefit me. And you can always ask me, and I'll let you know if, if I think that's the one you should add in or or, um, or maybe a different one based on what your goals are. So we're here for you. I'm here for you. I'd rather take fistfuls of supplements at a time than fistfuls of pharmaceuticals. So um, that's my motto. I'd rather be over nutrient and be eliminating a little excess in my urine and my feces than being under, you know, nutrition and die early. So that's just my philosophy. Hopefully it'll work out so far so good. All right. Any questions? If you, if you enjoyed this and you're still watching, you can go, if you would please like and share this, that would be much appreciated. 
thank you all for um, staying on. So, uh, yes, so Jill asked, my sister-in-law complains of bad leg cramps. Would the magnesium help with that? 100%, yeah. It's very common, especially with this that liquid one there, because um, I, I can't just say all magnesium is created equal. So, um, that stuff works really well though. So you can order it off my website, um, which if you need it, just message me and I'll send you, they can order it, have it shipped right to our house. So it's, it's, it's a really special blend that we, we put together. Cool. So, all right. Angela asks supplements for weight loss. Um, it depends I and mean, that keto one that I showed, I don't know if you were on earlier, this keto one right here is really good for that. Um, B vitamins help with metabolism. So it'd be a good B complex. Um, the uh, MCT oil right here is super helpful for fat burning. Um, another one that we use for for um, metabolism it's funny actually i don't really take this but I, I do have it at my house right now is uh endo trim so this has got a bunch of herbs and minerals designed to um crank up the uh immune system so or the uh metabolism of, of your body so endo trim by designs for health is really good I don't really have any of that in my office, but if you wanted to try it, you can message me and I will send you a code where you can buy it off Amazon for 25%, I think, uh, or 20% anyways. It's got, I, can get you a, I can get you a coupon for it if you want to try it out, along with the set of keto too. I don't really keep that on hand in my office, but um, that, does, that would help, especially with a good clean diet and exercise. I mean, that keto stuff, will you'll, you'll blast fat really easily um, and quickly with that. Great questions, great questions. You are welcome, Susan. Thanks for staying on. All right, I'm gonna go eat some no sugar apple crisp. I'm 